a while. It's been a long, long while. Hi everyone, welcome back to La Deutsche Vita. Life in Germany, made in Germany. My name is Phoebe and <laughs> first of all, apologies for the long break. Yeah, it's, it's, it's been almost a month. Actually, it's been a month since um, I uploaded. I uploaded this Sunday, this past Sunday. I don't know when this video is going to go up, but hopefully um, by the second Sunday in November. No, by the third Sunday in November, actually. So that should be the 16th, I think. Um, so, um, where do I start? <laughs> where do I start from? This video I'm about to do, I've already filmed it, but then I went back to check on the questions as I was editing and I realized, oh, I skipped some. And I love the last video, so I might probably just um, edit some parts of the first video into this video and all of that. How has life been treating me? Um, it's been a bit hectic, it's been a lot going on from school, work, and I've had some deadlines to meet in, for uni, so I just had to concentrate on that and, um, yeah, just concentrate on that one and continue. This morning, um, it's, it's a Monday morning, by the way, that I, my first appointment for translation is at 11. So I was like, why don't I just use this opportunity to film and, you know, do this video as well. And yeah, so I'm about to have my breakfast. Please, I don't always have this healthy kind of breakfast, no. Um, but I'm about to have my breakfast. It has banana, spinach, banana juice, um, celery, not, not, not apple, but khaki. So that's my my breakfast smoothie. It's good. It's good. Huh. <sighs> that's my breakfast smoothie and yeah, so I'm just gonna take advantage of it and I probably might take him along to work, but that would be a different video. So um I'm going to go through the questions again. If there is any part that I think has not been covered. I will definitely um, add that at the end of the video. So stay tuned. Don't go anywhere, okay? Let's start. <laughs> hmm. So I posted this picture where I asked um, my Instagram followers to ask me questions. And at the same time... Um, I put it up on Snapchat and I got questions as well. So I'm just going to go down and, um, yeah. Looks by Janaya asks, what are your goals on YouTube? And I even told her I was going to save it for part two of a Q&A, but since I'm going back um, to the questions, I'll just, um, answer everything now. So what are my goals on YouTube? My goals on YouTube is to make an impact, especially to people like me, young people, um, Africans, simply expats, um, foreign students living in Germany to make Germany, um, or life in Germany easier and to make it more, is it inclusive, but to just know that you're part of the society, no matter where you're from and whatever the society offers that is cut out for you or that you have, um, you can lay a claim on please go ahead and do it okay enjoy your life in germany don't feel like because you're away from home you have to um um tone down on your enjoyment no life no the problem no the finish in this life like life no the wait for nobody enjoy yourself no matter where you are that's my motto but um i want to make an impact and of course if god wills if it's supposed to be I would also want to make it my another source of income. No two ways about that. Sandra told you I'm about my points. Next question. Um, underscore Winnie the Pooh says she wants to know anything and everything. Okay, Winnie, let's just start. Let's just continue. If some, there's something that you haven't heard, I'll let you know. <laughs> Underscore A underscore me. So I think it's Amy. She's asking, how do you get such white teeth? <laughs> how do I get such white teeth? I think it's genetics. But I honestly don't do much. 
brush twice a week um, a day <laughs> brush twice a day um that's this and although of course i did my flossing but that's that doesn't help the whites right but i use colgate yeah i use the colgate black charcoal thing that's my toothpaste so the colgate next question i want to know what motivated you to start a channel can't wait um that's ayanfe underscore aa Ayan, i hope i've not made your name please i'm sorry um but check out her chat um, her profile she does a lot of um beauty um posts on instagram and she is from nigeria so check her out what's motivated me to start was um as i said i've been i've been here like okay wait i wanted to like reach out and i realized that there wasn't much content on living in germany as a black lady as a young black lady as, an, as a Ghanaian, as an african and how some things that happen that nobody talks about like how when we are trying to fit in when we are trying to settle in and all that so when it comes to university education when it comes to how we deal with racism when it comes to how we deal with making friends um both german and not german or african and non-african like all of that i feel like sometimes you come on youtube and all we get from um People that look like us, it's just beauty, 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 beauty. Meanwhile, there is more than that. Like, share more on, give more content on what actually moves me and what applies to my life. And I'm sure there are other um, ladies like me or other people like me that would also want to know how to deal with certain situations. So that's why I started this channel. And also, yes, I was on lockdown. I had extra time to plan and, you know, just start a new hobby. So yeah from nanaya she says were you born in germany no i wasn't born in germany i was born in the beautiful age my phone is falling i was born in the beautiful um country of ghana the western region sakradi to be precise in the twin city yes that's where i was born cheers to my tadi people what's that anymore <laughs> okay, this is so good. Um, would you even move countries? No. Oh, you mean if I were wait, wait. If I were to be in Ghana, I probably wouldn't have moved countries. Maybe I'd have just traveled and come back. But now living in Germany, um, so the no was related to relation to Ghana. But now that I'm in Germany. I would move countries, especially if you ask me now that we are going to winter. Yes, I would move countries to a warmer climate. So, Ghana, anywhere that is warm and hot, please give it to me. I'll take it. I'll take it. Yes, yeah, so I would move countries if the place is warm and warm throughout. And it has some kind of system. Because I don't want any booga booga system where nothing works. I want to be able to come out and know, for this, I have to go to this. Like, I need a structure. I, I need that structure so a country that is warm and has structure yep um if so to where i've answered that <laughs> um where are you from so jay walking closet oh she has dope outfits dope dope outfit check her out so jay walking closet says um my question contribution is where are you from heritage wise so as i said i was born in ghana um in ghana i i, I was born in the western region uh, my mom's um, dad is from the Volta region, from Anyaku. My mom's mom is from Nigeria. Um, so, yes. And my dad, um, he was born in Ghana, but his parents migrated from Togo to Ghana. In all in all, I am a West African, but I identify most as a Ghanaian because that's where I was born. And that's where I spent the most time in. And I've never been to the other two countries. So, I speak the Ghanaian languages more. Of course, of course I speak Ewe, like I speak Togolese Ewe. Yeah, Mr. Bebe. I speak Pidgin. I understand Pidgin. I understand um, some Igbo, Delta Igbo. Um, yes. But, yeah, and of course, I, as I said, I speak more Ghanaian language. I speak Fanti. My Ewa is also, you know, Ewa is more like for Ghana, Togo, Benin. So, what other Ghanaian language do I speak? You know, I understand some Ghan. 
because people normally think I'm Ga because of my second name Ayili, but I'm I'm not Ga, unfortunately. Like I wish I could be all tries. I wish I could be from Wa because they're be women are so beautiful. So if you think I'm from Wa, accept it. <laughs> Please don't mind me. Let's continue. Um. Yeah. So heritage wise, I am. Um. I'm Ghanaian. Actually, if you if you'd be very strict, I'm actually um to because it's actually the fifty fifty percent to release, but Jimpo if not go, Jimmy Kelly will to go Donka Ghana to me. Simple. Um what's your best color in meal? Think nicely. This this are the kind of questions I like. These are the kind of questions I like. Um, my best meal. Okay, let's do the best color first. For color, I don't have one particular, sorry, I have one particular favorite color. Um, I love everything bright, bright that looks good on me. So, um, I love me yellow, I love white, I love white, I love yellow. So, in summer, you see me a lot in yellow, like yellow dress, yellow top, yeah, white as well. I love yellow, I love white, and yes, I love pink. Mm, I couldn't have forgotten that. Fuchsia. All pink like just that loud pink that's my jam that, like that's my thing I just love bright colors that pop and um, white is my white and yellow are my go-to pink is not always welcome in all um, on all occasions but white almost always is I love white you know I love white I love pink I love yellow is there anything else I used to wear purple a lot, especially in my high school days. I loved purple. But yeah. My best meal says which 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 cuisine are we talking about? Like which which of the countries? Cause <clears throat> okay, let's start let's start like this. Because I live in Germany. Let's start with Germany. In Germany, everybody knows I love Maltaschen. Um and my favorite new thing is Hilschbraten. That is Hilsch is what? What is our in English? venison yeah venison so i love that and um we tried out this recipe or i tried out this recipe together with my man and it it, it just makes sense i beg it just makes sense so yes yes i love bush meat <laughs> both german recipes or Ghanaian or like i love bush meat so and i love meat basically i cannot please don't come for me this is vegan life and vegetarian life not for me this vegan vegetarian life it's not for me so bye bye but yeah i love i love my meat bush meat and all of that um i love spätzle i love pasta definitely because i don't want to eat rice every day you know i i, I grew up in a Ghanaian household where rice goes yeah sorry where rice goes yeah tag yeah rund um die uhr to kind of rice this. My brother could eat rice every day. My mom could eat rice, could eat rice every day. But me, I need the variety. So my go-to was then pasta, like noodles, and yams, plantain. Actually, I love everything except snails. That's it. I I don't I don't know why I don't like snails. I think they're just um they are slow. I don't know. It just doesn't attract me. I don't. I eat everything, just not snails. Yeah. But my favorite meal. Okay, so I've said German, right? From Ghana, from Ghana, we have to do different parts. So I like tuzafi, tuzafi, perfect. Of course, I cannot be an ever girl and not love my fetridechi, the oilless fetridechi, like green. I love it yeah and that's actually my favorite recipe of my favorite way of cooking okra the oilless way I love it if you want a recipe of that let me know you'll see it I love I love making that and I play or most actually like eating it with curry like with Eva um, yeah I love jollof but only when either I or my mom makes it because my mom's jollof ish 
I don't want to say it too, but it's, we always have this jollof going on in the, our house. Like, whose jollof is better? My friends, I know they, they prefer my mom's jollof, but y'all are traitors. Kim, I see you. I see you. I know you love my mom's jollof. But, um, yeah, I love jollof, especially when it has veggies and um, lot, when the jollof is rich. Life is short and big. I, I live to eat. I cannot come, please. I love rich jollof. Give it vegetables, carrots, bell pep. You know, my jollof no day or pap. My mom jollof are wired dry. Mindy, but yo, my baby has number suffer. Yes, I love jollof. Um, hey, how could I forget my fufu? But the thing is, fufu makes me um very full, and sometimes it's just like keeps me this tired. You know, you know what I mean. So I try to. Have more soup, small fufu, and now sis jump crossed 25. So the metabolism is not like how it used to be. So I cannot be eating fufu like my head no day. <laughs> you know, it's carbs. So yeah, small fufu, plenty soup, plenty meat. Yes. Um, have I forgotten any of my favorite foods? Um, I don't have one favorite food. The thing is, I love food. Food is my hobby. Yes. Um from Arania, I hope I can pronounce because I'm pronouncing it the Portuguese Arania. Okay, what do you do to be this gorgeous? Thank you, sis. Mm. Cheers, cheers, Jerry. Mm. But that person, what do I do to, do to be this gorgeous? So first, I take my wig seriously. <laughs> um, no, I just mind my business, so I just mind my business. I drink my water and the thing is the more you drink your water right you mind your business because you're always running to the bathroom they won't tell you that but basically that is what it is because now you the thing is it's either you're in the bathroom or you are being efficient so the time that you're not going to pee you have to fit productivity in between those breaks so um yeah but um thank you very much for the compliments i would say if you have seen my mom you know where i got it from yes I, I don't do much. I don't do much. Thank, but thank you very much. Um, so, that's my bestie. She asked my first question. Do you feel you fully adapt? Do you feel you fully adapted to the German culture after having lived here for so many years? Um, yes and no, but hey, I have a dindle. Listen, when you have a dindle, that's that's the height of adaptation. Adaption. Reggie, I have a phone to trim to total. Ha. Is it adaptation or adaption? Anyways, that's the height of it. For me to have a dindle, mit schütze und alles drum und dran. Um, yes, I, I, I think I'm, I'm okay so far, but you realize that there's still more to discover. Um, the other day I was reading this article and they were talking about how German, um, especially in the southern part of Germany, um, in Schwabenland, how they um, celebrate Christmas and there, there was certain word for it and how they go around visiting. Of course with Corona we wouldn't to visit anybody anymore but you would, you, there's always more to learn, even in our own culture. So um, yeah, I, I think I'm okay so far but I'll still discover more things and I'm open to those discoveries. So yes. The second question was, why did you choose to study law above any other course? The first um, reason for me was I was studying math. Math, all I know, I think I know enough in math to calculate my money, but the rest, bye-bye. So I wanted to dodge math and also um, I, was, I wanted to be able to fight for myself in a situation I was in some years back. And those were my motivations, basically. I wanted, at first I started with business law, and then I changed to law to then focus on family law, and now I'm in tax law. So, <laughs> family law was quite draining on my, um, on my psyche, like, emotionally, it was quite draining when we go to court and some hearings, like, sometimes you see me crying in court, so... It's, it's too much. It's too much. The heart of man is desperately wicked. I cannot. 
So let me just work with tax with numbers. I don't see you. You don't see me. You get your bill. Bear up. Thank you for the question, Mavna. Gracie AZ underscore one. <laughs> Hi, Grace. Mwah. KJ. One mm. name, Asam. How are you? I hope you're doing well. Um, in fact, it's one name, Madu. Aish. I love me some grace. This sip is for you, my baby. Mm. What are your hobbies? And who is your favorite Nigerian? See, I just bribed you. <laughs> um, my favorite Nigerian um would be my grandma of blessed memory. Um, I'm I'm even about to tear up. Grace. Okay. Yeah, so we did cry. Um, yeah, um, my grandma blessed memory. And since she's a blessed memory, she still stays in my heart. But my next person, of course, would be you, Grace. What would I do without your swag? <laughs> okay. Ah. All right. I hope the tears stop. My hobbies. Cooking, reading, music. And currently also YouTube. It's 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 a nice hobby. And one thing about YouTube is um the effects are like lasting. Like when I make a video, it's there forever till I like I want to delete it, but it's there for posterity. So that that is really nice. Um cooking, I love creating new stuff, I love trying out recipes, I love tasting new food. Yes, reading, I love anything with um detective stories crime suspense um yes thrillers sometimes but not all kinds of thrillers and of course i love live reading biographies um if you look on this side i think oh you wouldn't see but i have some like from mrs obama um tom hanks and all of that yeah some of them i read some um biographies i love those but the thing is time 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 being a lot student you have a lot of uh, material to read so you barely have time to read other things but I try to read my stuff um, before bedtime I try I said I try and of course I love watching movies and series definitely yes I love that I love doing that what do you think about church in Germany is it difficult to find a church which teaches the truth of the gospel what do you think about church in Germany church in Germany is different even when you go to an international congregation, it's different. Because I remember when I first came, um, I belonged to the Church of Christ. Um, if you're in Ghana, um, uh, Church of Christ. They, there, are many, there are different kinds of Churches of Christ, but my Church of Christ is the one that um, is, we call ourselves the Bible Believing Church. And um in Ghana we one of our most known preachers are our OAS. One of our known most preachers is um Dan Ousu Isyama, preacher Dan Ousu Isyama. That's the a preacher, the head preacher for the Sakradi Central Church, right? I was going to the Sekendi branch, but since I've been in Germany, um when I go back to Ghana I go to different branches just to have a different feel of the congregations. Even there like the the then i don't know how, know how to, like the dynamic intensity of church service is different so even if we sing similar songs in the church family in germany and everything it's different so that i think it's also part of our culture that um we are just very more dynamic or just more active when it comes to religion or when it comes to anything that has to do with faith and belief and um, yeah, so church in Ghana is totally different than church in Germany. Church in Germany, when I first came, I felt like it was cold, like cold. But I think it's just the culture that people are here are more reserved. And in Ghana, we are just all out. Like when we are singing, we sing loud. When when the preaching goes on, when we are shouting, man, you know, things are different. Also, the church dynamics, like within the church members, is different than the one in Germany. So. Um, like in church, like in, back in Ghana, like 
but church was more like a big town for me because if I wanted to buy let's say books there was a church member who sold books so I'll, I'll go there and buy the books from them if whatever whatever I needed like the church was your first go-to place and if there wasn't anybody in the church then you go outside the church but in Germany it wasn't it wasn't always like that and in church in Ghana like people were we're always together kind of you know even if they're not from your church because you share the same faith or similar beliefs or similar principles it's together but here church life is quite different but one thing I'm not going to lie is I love how the church services here are short Because in Ghana, they'll finish the church, they'll do announcements, meetings. Growing up here and reading about the history of the church, it's even hard for me to like enter a church building, like an ancient church building, like a cathedral or something, because you know that there is a chance that some of the build, like the, the, the building process of this church was gained out of... Um, not correct means like by exploiting other people and all of that so it's you you have to separate the church and the religion like that movement from your personal relationship with god and i think as i have done that it's made my christian walk much easier and much more enjoyable because i know god is my main like god we cool you know like he's he's, he's my body body we talk all the time. I pray. Sometimes I'll be quiet. I'll be praying. When something overwhelms me, I pray. So people always say, you, you act like you don't have any problem. I do have things I'm struggling with, but I believe that he says all things work together for the, for the good of those who love him. So if you're on his side, no matter how hard it is now, things will get better. And I think it's insulting to God to be worrying and to be fretting and to be desperate or frustrated about something. So yes i'll pray and i'll i'll play my putu by stone boy and shake it off because at the end of the day he got the whole world in his hands and he got me too okay so yeah i i don't um associate to, i don't associate too much with church um because at the end of the day when you go to church we are it's, you, you cannot go to the hospital to look for healthy people you go to the hospital and expect to see sick people the same way you don't go to the church and to see perfect but then when i was i was younger that's the thinking i had but now i know no we are all not perfect so um i have a different approach to all of that now but what i will not like what i don't like seeing is when you know you are in the wrong like it's it's a longer period of wrongdoing and you, you don't want to have it addressed at all. I think that is not fair to God, like, that you don't want to even better your situation. You get, you get what I'm saying? But apart from that, to each his own. Let me finish my breakfast. Mm. I feel good, though. Mm. Yeah. Um... There's one question nobody asked me. There's, I, I don't like... Don't, don't you ask about my height. Mm, I'm tall though. I just want people to know. I'm very tall. 1 meter 80. Mm. The first time I did my... Um, my German ID card as, like, as an almost adult and they measured my height. They said it was 1 meter 82. The lady said, I'll take 4 centimeters off because of your shoes. I wasn't even in high because I was in chucks. So I had to re measure it again. The next time I was renewing my, my ID, 1 meter 80. Bam. Now it's Schwarz of Vice. It's official. Okay? So please, I don't know why people don't ask me that. What's, what's my height? Ask me. I want to tell you. It's 1 meter 80, please. <laughs> Another question nobody asked. I think it's, it's quite obvious. If you follow me on my socials, at Instagram, on Instagram, it's Phoebe. F triple E double B triple A double Y Fibe. That's how I normally um that's how I think about my name. Like I'm happy. On Snapchat it's Mamizel233. Don't ask me. Mamizel233. Don't ask me a story behind that. Just add me if you can. On Twitter it's Phoebe as well. So let's connect. But as long as you follow me, you know Miss is taking the Miss is in a relationship. 
um yeah i'm thinking and is there anything oh yes of course i want to thank my 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 followers and my friends most of you here were my friends thank you so much for supporting me thank you so much for sending in your questions god bless you because every time i put something about my youtube channel i have this this particular group of friends that always support so from baba reggie grace pearl um please if i've forgotten you please don't don't beat me okay but and my family my aunties my uncles um my cousins from from friends to to Ijoma, to Baba, to Shamun, to Naomi, all of you who support me, I want to thank my brother Junior, or I mean Alexander Junior, for all the tips on the tech stuff, and of course I want to thank you Ella, I want to thank you Taifaba, thank you for all the support you give me, I want to thank my, my boo boo, babe, thank you so much for your support, because he watches it and he'll tell me what he thinks is not right, I want to thank my family, my mom, She's a great support system. I think my, my in-laws as well, especially my mom-in-law and my father-in-law for their support and always watching the videos and giving me feedback. Thank you so, so much. This is the Get to Know Me video. If you have not yet subscribed to me, please, what, what, are, you look, what, like, what are you waiting for? What did I do you? I beg support your girl. Hit the subscribe button, like, comment, and share. Let me know what you would like to see.